Unless you've been hiding under a rock for the last six months, you know that provocative pop star Miley Cyrus has clearly moved on from her more innocent Disney Channel Hannah Montana beginnings. First, there was that MTV VMA performance, followed by a nude wrecking ball video appearance, and she's also at Starkers on the cover of Rolling Stone. When I spoke with Cyrus in New York recently, she said she was ready to move on from her past. It almost feels like it didn't exist. I took two years. I kind of hid in my house. wasn't performing. I wasn't trying to like stay up on top because it's like I had nothing to say at that point. So I don't want to lie on me. I want to go away, figure out who I am, go mess up, make mistakes, do all that, live so I have something to write about. But that's the thing. So many people try to put on this like squeaky clean, but they end up not being able to live their life so they have nothing to say and you're not interested anymore. I want people to really know me so they know that my music is who I really am. Cyrus's dramatic transformation in the lead up to the October 8th release of her new album Bangers really began last year when she chopped off her long brown hair and dyed it blonde. But the more interesting thing is she claims to be unaware of any buttons she may be pushing with her more adult look and image. I can speak louder than words. When you don't really know who you are, you have to be so vocal about like, I'm being different. I never do that. I'm making a transition. Like that's one of the least favorite things that I like to say because it's not a, as much to anyone else as it seems like it's a conscious, you know, conscious effort. It's not for me. It's just like a natural thing that happens. Now it's funny when I see people, they're like, you were a part of my childhood. I'm like, that's hilarious. Like on that set, I went through everything. I got, I, I got boobs on that set where they came and they were like, I know Dolly's on set this week, but did, they, did she give her a padded bra? Because it's looking weird. My mom's like, no, she's like 15 now. You hired her at 12. She's, you're going to have to like wrap her up if you don't want her to have boobs because this is like, you're going to grow. And so that, that time was such a, it seems like a dream, but I think everyone, everyone has to do that. Everyone has to have their minute where they kind of like, play the game a little bit so you can get to the point where I'm at where it's kind of just can do whatever you feel like and blame it on being an artist. I came in like a wrecking ball. I never hit so hard in, love. in addition to an evolution of Miley's look, there's also an evolution of sound on Bangers. The new album features her with a variety of hip-hop artists in addition to an appearance by Britney Spears. Cyrus says the similarities between her hometown of Nashville and Atlanta, where many of the hip-hop artists are based, are plentiful. I think people didn't realize as much how much Nashville and Atlanta are the same. And that's why me and Mike Will got along so well. It's because like we're just real. We're from the South. It's the same, it's the same exact thing. And the way that Atlanta is based around hip-hop music and it keeps that whole city alive, that's what Nashville is. Nashville would be dead without country music. You know, that's the thing that gives it its pulse and its like energy. And actually, kind of being if you listen to country music and you listen also to hip hop, it's like you're singing about different kind of drinks, but every country, every country artist is singing about like women drinking. with badonka donks and <laughs> at drinking and partying, every country song. So that's the exact same thing as really hip hop music. So I just wanted people to feel that energy again and people to, to bring like the South back. As for touring plans, Cyrus says she hopes to tour the world in 2014. For QMI Agency, I'm Jane Stevenson.